that bridge is already collapsing. The big, the big bridge is collapsing. Reason is very simple. There are already cracks all over within the pillars. The water weeds that come in large number is forcing, is blocking water path, giving very narrow path for the large volume of water because the river keeps flowing. And to that extent, now we realize that the too much drift, that strength of water, is in excess that it is now forcing the soil next to the bridge to keep collapsing, to keep collapsing. And uh, the soil, in my observation, the texture is very soft, collapsible soil. And so it is now at the extreme end, all the two ends is now becoming weak and loose. And now the worry is, because of the holdings at the extreme end, which are already being threatened, the weight of the bridge is now sitting in the pillar. And that is why the force being exerted with the vibration as every truck passes is the one that is now creating a lot of cracks on the what? A lot of cracks on the bridge. No, on the pillars. So you can, we, I can guarantee this bridge is a very big risk now. This bridge was constructed in around 1964, according to how we had. A bottle regime, I'm told. But now that the lifespan, before any other repairs or what could be done or rehabilitation, was 50 years. So it has now exceeded far behind, like almost by what? By 10 years. So it is surviving on our areas. It is living in areas. <clears throat> My government had uh, indicated uh, in the manifesto for 2021, either page 43 or page 54, that there would be a new art of design and the architect, a very new bridge to be constructed in the Pakwaj. And you know the coming, the emergence of the bridge that Obote constructed here stopped for us the water vessel that used to connect with Nile to Mediterranean Sea and Europe. So we want a kind of a bridge design that can allow navigation, free navigation of what? of water vessel. Like uh, we used to have a water vessel called Robert Gordon that would traverse New Sudan, Nimule. And then people were rich that time. Many of our people in West Nile, Rhino Camp, Arua, Ajumani, people were very rich just because of the water vessel that was moving. It used to be called Robert Gordon. But immediately this bridge came on board it became defunct because it could not allow the free navigation, the antennas could not work past. So we want the government to put a new Pakwach bridge. Even when government is planning bridge, they say on La Ropi or wherever, the other side. So all these bridges should be those type of bridges that can allow free navigation of the water what? vessel. Either it inclines like in a manner that can allow or it should have an automatic sensing that can open automatically for the water vessel to what? To pass, to boost business. But this also brings me closer to um, the, uh, the, the rehabilitation uh, and the work that will take place on the Pakwach Bridge. I was shocked, Honorable Minister, when I passed there yesterday. And if we do not act fast, this is going to be another catastrophe. West Nile will be completely closed off from other places. And this means, since government is planning to put, uh, to begin the renovation work, there is need to have a contingency plan. The contingency plan should include a ferry service because if the work begins, I asked my uh, honorable colleague yesterday that if works begin, and it takes six months or so to complete the bridge. 
where will we come to our brothers in West Nile? And where will the brothers and sisters from West Nile go when they want to, to go to the other parts of the country? And in that regard, we are saying YRS government has already planned to work on this stretch. Which plan government has been singing for the past four years. We want to give it a try up to the end of this calendar year, up to December, before we now invite ancestors to take charge of this situation. Otherwise, we went to church and prayed, nothing is happening. We asked the Muslims also to support, and we all prayed in the mosque, nothing has happened. We may resort to ancestors whom we had already forgotten. We thought now, when we pray in the church or in the mosque, all our problems would be what? Because we don't see a representative of ancestors invited when our main guests always come for. Uh, so we are likely to invite now Gipira and Labongo to take charge of this. Otherwise, we are very unhappy because when a continuity of business is not assured, 